Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading here with Mega Good Vibes this evening. We wanted to come on and ask this deck some questions about, you know, what the masculines are going through right now on their journey, okay? We know that a lot of them have stepped onto the ascension path. A lot of them know that, you know, there is this deep connection, which means that, you know, they don't see life in the same way as everybody else around them, okay? the connection to the divine feminine as well it's more than just this crush or this attraction or the chemistry between you two um i just feel like now the connection is affecting a lot of other areas of your masculine's life as well um and i shared a a short earlier with mega and we had the king of pentacles come out tuna time and you know the channeled message is that a lot of your masculines are focused on money right now okay um, and I'm, I'm, I'm picking that up in a lot of readings that are coming through and it has a lot to do with how they feel confident in this world. Um, it's how they make things happen. Masculine energy is all about action. And so when they want to do something, their mind all of a sudden, you know, it goes to that place first. You know, they want to be able to build resources. They want to be able to be prepared. They want to be organized. Um, so these are all energies that I feel like a lot of your masculines are experiencing right now. And so th because they want to make more money a lot of them are focused on their health right now so what i see for a lot of your masculines is that you know there's a lot that they want right now but they're they're having to take steps back and each time they figure out what they want to do the universe is like okay before you do that though you got to do this <laughs> so a lot of them are focused on wanting to work more but in order to work more they need to get their health in check so i see a lot of them focusing on cleaning up bad habits right now okay especially around like alcohol or for some of your masculines maybe even drug use or um, addictions as well when it comes to gambling away their money or spending their money very irresponsibly living paycheck to paycheck um, this may be a masculine who makes a lot of money but again just as much as they make it they spend it okay uh, they might have problems as well saying no to other people when it comes to depleting their resources these are all things that they're wanting to help themselves clean up um, i feel like being under the influence as well um, whether it's drinking or smoking or, or drugs um, it makes it easier for other people to take advantage of them and it also makes it easier for them to lose sight of their judgment okay so yeah with that being said i'm going to go ahead and find out what kind of lessons your masculines are learning right now and many of you may be picking up on this as well. So, you know, it really gives you that validation as to whether or not it's it's their energy or it's your energy. And uh, yeah, I know many of us like to really just <laughs> absorb it so we know how to prepare energetically or even assist if we need to. All right, so what are the masculines going through? Let's cut it in half. Okay, so we get learned from your mistakes. Okay, and I, I genuinely feel that a lot of them are taking accountability from their mistakes and they're learning to check their ego and check their pride because I'm seeing that in the past, many of your masculines, they didn't like to admit making mistakes, okay? And especially around this whole connection, you know, they're seeing that they had to, to choose other situations in order to get to the place that they needed to get to because in order to like get clean i'm hearing for many of them they have to make that decision okay there was a lot of uh, instances where many of you experienced separation with your counterpart and it was beyond your control if your counterpart specifically the divine masculine was avoiding the shadow work and and you as the divine feminine you know maybe you were doing the shadow work but part of that shadow work as well was uh, you know cleaning up shop when it came to your emotional health and and you know attracting others who are in alignment with what it is you want to give you know many of you in the feminine energy you have a lot to give but your masculines if they're struggling with things like addictions or they're having financial struggles or they're not in the right place where they're exuding king energy then they're not going to be able to receive your love in the right way and if you're not able to discern and you keep giving and giving you're going to keep going through the cycles with them as well okay because your lesson is to discern and not over pour from your cups okay when your cup is empty and you're still trying to pour you end up draining yourself um and then for many of your masculines you know the universe will always step in the way to help you stop depleting and when they lose sight of your energy it's like the cycles for them deepen they go through an even 
the, the dark night of the soul gets even darker and darker and darker but you know they have to be the ones to pull themselves up but oftentimes too their guides can assist them but um <laughs> i feel like they have to get into that place where they're genuinely uh, they humble themselves and they ask for help okay uh, so what else are they going through that they want to communicate okay so we have follow the golden rule okay so for many of them i feel like they may be saying to themselves like they they know that love is is what they feel okay and that's the truth okay and that's the golden rule like you know follow your heart is what i'm hearing for a lot of the masculines and when they do try to avoid the connection or when they do try to run and i've said this many times a lot of them always hit that brick wall because they they need the other half of their soul i feel like you know they can only go so far on the journey and then they need to reconnect with the other half of their soul again you know for, and you both need it you might find at times two divine feminines you might be going through the dark night of the soul and when it gets really really dark all of a sudden there's communication between you and your counterpart it's almost like your person is is called to come in or they just think about you more than usual or they're guided to come in uh, and vice versa you will reach out at times where you you know genuinely feel like they need you um, it's all orchestrated but they're being guided to just follow the general rule of thumb which is to follow your heart you know so a lot of them are are doing that and in doing that they're noticing that each time they follow their heart and it's the feminine they go down this path of getting clean you know, and that means something to them, okay? Let's see how they romantically feel for you. Because <laughs> when I said that means something, I feel like you mean something to them, Divine Feminine. You mean a lot to them, actually, because many of them are waking up and they're realizing this now, like, damn, every time she's around, I start feeling prosperous. I start feeling healthy again. I don't feel so foggy. I'm getting up. I'm going to the gym. Um, and by going to the gym, a lot of your masculines, too, get an opportunity to release... Um, their sexual energy especially if the sexual energy is very like obsessive about sex or they need healing when it comes to that part of addictions in their life instead of getting up and like normally I feel like a lot of them would delve really deep into you know pornographic websites or uh, like cam chat sites and things like that and they would feel so tired and groggy in their day and on top of that they would mix it with alcohol and drugs you know their energy was so blocked so so blocked and that's why a lot of them they went mia because the universe was like you're not going anywhere near the divine feminine especially if she's doing her shadow work you're not going to be able to get close so they're having these epiphanies now of like you know damn like she means a lot to me okay that's what i'm getting what do they want to communicate about how they feel in their heart space for you divine feminine okay so we have children right away i heard you heal their inner child or um you know a lot of them too could be feeling like each time they get into a place of getting clean or they abstain from like alcohol or drugs and they can think clearly they're not running from their emotions right so a lot of them like they long for either like this childlike feeling when they're with you like to to be near you and to to joke around or they dream of having kids with you or like a family with you or it's just it's just something that comes up it learn from your mistakes right um you know they don't want to you know children could be coming up because they don't want to continue to live their life in the way that they've been living it because they don't want to be alone and if they had the opportunity to do it all over again maybe even through having children you know there's so much that you bring to the table divine feminine that they would do so differently and i feel like they would do it differently with you by their side okay what else do they want to communicate about how they feel in their heart space for you divine feminine Okay, that's way too many. <laughs> I feel like there's so much they want to say. But let's just get really specific here. What do the masculines wish to communicate? Okay, so I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, so we're, we're getting express your love. Okay, so go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Let's clarify that a little bit. Okay, so 
you know, they want to take things to the next level, okay, so because we have engagement, and I know this afternoon's reading was about many of them wanting to be physical with you, um, and, and that's part of taking things to the next level as well. Um, and they trust you, Divine Feminine. Um, many masculines have learned, you know, like they know who you are now, and they're not wanting to run from it anymore is what I feel, and they want to express their love because that is... I. I I feel what will take things to the next level. So for some of you who haven't had contact in like a really long time, many of your masculines want to tell you how they feel so that you at least know the truth. Maybe a lot of you don't have that confirmation that like your person feels the way that they do about you. Um, once they get clean and they can think more clearly, they'll have the courage and the confidence to come toward you in this way. Um, but as long as they're you know being clouded by those other things, then it's hard for them to do that right because there's so many other spirits that are messing with them through these substances because um, a lot of the times when we indulge in substances it, it does create spaces in our auras and it leaves room for usually roaming spirits to to do nefarious things and i don't say that to scare anybody it's just you know oftentimes that's why people can't remember what they do <laughs> when they're drunk um, but yeah, many of your masculines, they just want to, you know, connect with, you know, themselves again, like who it is they are at the core. Okay. So yeah, the overall vibe from this reading is that, you know, slowly, but surely, you know, it, it, the slowly part is like, they're, they're starting this foundation first. It's like le learning from their mistakes is before approaching you. It's like taking care of themselves first. All right, guys, this was really sweet. All right, I hope you've enjoyed. You guys take care. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.